<laughs> just having a little fun again here in the, here in my, my little studio here. So check it out. Video cards seem to be really actually starting to become in stock. But will that solve all the problems that the PC gaming industry has faced over the last few years? Maybe, maybe not. But let's talk about video cards. Chances are that if you're upgrading a computer with major parts or you're just building a new computer, you're going to need a legitimate Windows key. And VIP Your CD Key Sales has you covered. And right now the prices are lower than ever and it's simple to buy. You simply go over to their website, choose the Windows software that you want to, put it into your cart, and when you're going to the checkout, you're going to want to enter the code TOT20 and save yourself an additional 25%. Making your Windows key not only completely legit, but also really low price. And after a few minutes, you'll get an email and all of your keys will be inside of your inbox. So it's really simple. So if you want to save money and you want a key that you know is guaranteed to work forever, then check out VIP Your CD Key Sales. So after watching a few other vids and stuff and going out and actually doing some research, actually, you know, if I'm seeing the comments on my last video, um, there are video cards in stock in certain places. Um, I'm not saying that Best Buy is actually going to be one of those places. You may get lucky and find one at Best Buy, but um, mm, I don't really know if that is actually going to happen because when we tried before I couldn't do it but I am seeing cards on Amazon and other places that are in stock now here's the other thing though these cards are not being sold at the MSRP really anywhere now I know some other people have said hey I found a card at MSRP I would love for people to post links down below in this video to any place that you can find after this video that have video cards in stock that you know of because you guys are the audience and there's so many more of you out there than, than there is of just me. You know what I mean? There's just so many more of you to actually help out and help everybody out here with this because I feel that the way that everything's been going, so many people are gouging. Even even Amazon and the companies on there, they're just gouging. I mean, if a card's supposed to sell at an MSRP, that should be what it is. Now, I've had an argument with a couple of friends of mine about this stuff, because if you walk into a guitar place to buy a guitar, and the MSRP on that guitar is $15.99, and they're trying to sell that guitar to you for $29.99, you're gonna be like, go frack yourself. There's no way on earth I'm gonna buy that guitar that's MSRP at that. In fact, what you're going to try to do is get it for under MSRP. That's been the big deal forever and why I call my hookup AJ at Sweetwater whenever I want something. Whenever I want something, I call my homie AJ and say, hey man, what kind of deal can you get me on this? Because I don't want to pay that MSRP. And I usually get a pretty good deal on stuff. So, you know, that's a cool thing. But with video cards, there's nothing like that anymore. There used to be. Back in the day, I had hookups for video cards everywhere. Now, I'm going to fully admit to you guys 100%. Me being sick for so many years, um, all the chemicals in my body, me dying, just everything that happened to me over the last you know, few years affected me and my relationships with the industry. I am not in touch with the industry as much as I used to. I'm sure you guys noticed it on the channel. I'm really trying to refine my identity on here and see exactly, you know, where I'm wanting to go and do it because I'm not really the same exact person that I used to be. I don't have my team anymore. So, you know, doing all hardcore video card testing and all this stuff now when I don't really even have very many more video cards after moving and stuff and watching stuff disappear over and over and over again. It's just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> man, I'm not even going to go there. But here's the thing, though. If video cards are going to be in stock, that's pretty cool. They're not gonna sell for the MSRP, that's some BS. Now, 
Here's the other thing though, even if video cards do start to come in stock for right now, because as you guys have seen, the crypto market is kind of taking a burr, kaboom. It's just like blown up in a bad way. There's all kinds of even Netflix specials. Now, I know some people are gonna say, oh my God, that's going to be the end of cryptocurrency. That stuff's going down. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's just going to come back in a different way. As long as video cards can be used to do any type of mining, any type of thing like that, where somebody can buy a video card and make some kind of digital money that they can trade for real cash or maybe get rich quick, they're going to do it. Because all kinds of people did make millions upon millions of dollars doing all this mining stuff. They did. It's just a fact. Like I said, there are specials now on YouTube. Next, excuse me, not YouTube, Netflix. Pardon me. I made a boo-boo. But anyways, if you go over to Netflix, there's all these new specials about this stuff. So obviously, you know, the crypto market was hotter than hell. And that's why, you know, probably the main reason, really, people want to say other reasons, but it, I really think at the core of it, it's just that these cards were bought up by everybody, even corporations and stuff who knew that about this could buy giant big batches of cards, crypto mine them, and then maybe release them, you know, onto eBay later on and make make a fortune because the card market so, you know, so it was so fudged up for so long. They can make a lot of money either way. They can make money coming in, make money coming out. So I think that, you know, right now, if you can get a video card, you probably should buy it, even if you really don't really need it and you've got the extra cash. Right now, I would go fishing and catch me some video cards. That's just the way it is because when crypto mining or whatever new mining comes up, whatever new name it comes out with, if it can do it on a video card, they're gonna rebuy the video card market. Now, NVIDIA, I don't think they really liked my last video that I made about the pissing on people. I don't really think they appreciated it. I got a phone call the next day. Nobody really said anything to me, but I just felt like they were uncomfortable about it. And plus, you know, I think that, that they feel that since they put the lower hash rates on them, you know, the, the LHR on their cards, they're like, you know, they're saying, hey, we're doing our best, you know, to limit people, you know, from doing mining on these cards. But obviously it really didn't do that much because people hacked their way around it. And there's all kinds of stuff on the internet of how to hack and get around this. So, I mean, I really don't know how much value there is in that particular thing. And I mean, no offense to my friends at NVIDIA, but I just don't, if you make a feature on a card and that feature can just be hacked and wiped out, well, I mean, what's the point? I mean, it's like, you know, hey, we have a door that'll that'll unlock with, with, with our mind, but we don't have telekinesis. Well, okay. Yeah, I don't know. That particular aspect doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But as long as cards can be used by these people to make cash and then sell it back to a freaking market that's like just totally, you know, just doesn't have anything at all video cards. Like... I've talked to so many of my friends of mine, they're like, they, they text me and they're like, hey dude, will, will we ever see a like video card under $500 again? And I'm like, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. I mean, it almost seems like those days are gone. That's just so sad because I've been in this industry a long time. And I remember back in the day when 3D effects came out and their cards were so awesome and I was buying those cards up. There were cards available all the place. Sometimes they'd run out of stock, but if one place ran out of stock, you could go to another place. PC gaming has grown so exponentially since the beginning because every kid when he's stuck at home these days wants to play in a computer game. No longer do kids play outside. I never see that anymore, never. I see kids playing at the park, playing in soccer and stuff. And I give that a thumbs up because that's family with their kids. And I think that's freaking amazing. But just the kids outside playing, playing war, playing tag, doing whatever. You don't see that anymore. Kids are at home playing video games. Most of them are. And with the pandemic, well, guess what? <laughs> Nothing to do. So a pandemic, all this other stuff, it's wiped out not only the video card market, but honestly, the entire computer market in, in general has been just whacked. And there's been crazy stuff the entire time. You had California trying to make up laws saying, well, if your computer, you know, isn't, isn't, you know, energy efficient enough, um, 
you cannot ship or sell that computer. You have to buy the parts here in California or buy parts separately and build your own system or buy it from a California company that falls within our standards. Yes, sir. Like I said, I've been in this in a long time. This used to be, I'm telling you, a really, really fun industry. PC gaming used to be fun. For me, it was fresh. It was great. I was here in the beginning. It was like a whole new world opened up. I came from a console background. Um, I started playing on a computer back when it was just a, a little tape. Tape. A guy named Steve Day lived in the apartment complex. Went over to his pad. He had a tape and a computer. And I was just like, wow. I was stuck right there. Like, wow, this is cool. I got to plan it a little bit and everything. And I was, I was amazed. Yeah, I was just like, wow, this is totally cool, you know? And since then, I've just been hooked on doing stuff. And gaming for many years for me was the most exciting part of my life. Now, as I've gotten older and I've played a bunch of games, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. At this point now, the games that come out, most of them aren't very original. TV sometimes is original. Games sometimes are original. But most of the time, it's just a rehash of the same thing. I mean, come on. A first-person shooter is a first-person shooter. It may have another gun. It may have another cool little thing here or there. But they're all a first-person shooter. That's what they are. There doesn't seem to be much change. I don't see people really, really totally reinventing the game too much. I mean, back in the day, all these games were like brand new. And you'd just be like, oh my god, wow, this is so cool. But now it's just like, oh my god, okay, that's the same thing. We're on what, Battlefield, this, Call of Duty, that? I mean, you guys know what I mean. This industry has changed. It's just, to me, not as fun as it used to be. There may be a billion more people doing it, because obviously, since when I first started, there's been more people on the Earth, period, you know? And it's popular. Kids like gaming. It's the most popular thing on the planet. But without video cards and the ability to buy them, guess what? It's hard to be in the PC arena, right? It just is. So we're going to have to see. I will put some links down below to the video cards that I can find on Amazon that are in stock. You guys can make the choice. You can be like, hey, okay, you know, they're just a little bit higher, so I'll pay the price, but at least they're in stock at the video card. Or you can veto that shite and just say, no, I'm only waiting till these cards become MSRP. But for right now, it does seem like the video card drought is going to take a back seat for a little bit. But only time will tell. Because if any other mining comes around, like I said, the whole thing will just start repeating itself again and again and again because it's been going on for years. I went back and watched a video of mine from like 2018 and I was like, wow, this whole thing has been going on for a long time. I mean, it has been going on almost since like 2016 it's been going on now we're almost in you know we're in 2022 in the middle of it so is it really going away or is it just changing i want to hear your comments please guys if you like the video i ask that you like and share this video on social media also if you're really cool and you want to hang out again please subscribe to the channel i'm trying to get my act together and bring a lot more videos to the table i just don't want to bring things that are just too just mediocre all the time i want to do better things so you know that's what i'm really trying to do right now so pardon the guy if i'm not just blasting out stuff but i want to bring stuff that's more quality instead of just a bunch of garbage so peace out thanks for watching tech of tomorrow you can support my channel many ways with a dollar over on patreon i got links down below music the whole shenanigan you guys know the deal you've heard it before you'll hear it again talk to you guys later see you guys here on tech of tomorrow